Hey, what's going on, Cancers? Butch Tarot here. Going to do your one-week read. Uh, it is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Um, refer to your chart, your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. And, um, okay. and always feel free to comment down below. All my information is in the description box down below if you want to get a hold of me. And, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay. So the first thing I see is I see you dealing with some internal struggle here. Um, you know, I feel like I feel like you you've been kind of with you know you've been with this person you know this particular person, um, but there's no forward movement here. There's no. There's no motivation to move any further. I feel like it's it's kind of like it's ran its course. Um, you know, I feel like... I don't get the feeling that you guys are necessarily together, but I feel like it's kind of like been a thing. Um, maybe somebody that you work with, or somebody you go to school with, or somebody that in a social setting, and you... You know, it's been fun, but it's kind of run its course because they're not really... They don't really seem like they're ready to commit. Um... Like I said, with the Ace of Swords, there's no, there's no movement here. Um, you know, I feel like, I feel like your patience is running thin with this person. You know, I feel like it's a matter of you want more. You don't see this being more. Um, you know, I feel like. You felt like you didn't have that many options, so you kind of just went that way. But I feel like that's, you know, you need to look at it a different perspective here. I feel like you have multiple, you know, I feel like you have other offers. Um, and when I get this, it's not necessarily like, you know, we have a seven of cups. It doesn't mean you have seven offers, but I feel like there's more than one offer here. I feel like the person that, you know, you're kind of wasting your time. I feel like you're wasting your time with this person, but I feel like that is an option to continue to waste your time. But like I said, I feel like, you know, you put in too much work. Um, I don't feel like you feel like, you, you know, I feel like you're not getting it back. You're, you're getting that impression. You're not getting that. Um, they're not working at this. There's no forward movement. Um, you know. But I see, as for the Seven of Cups, I see another option in your future. Um, and very, very soon. Um, I feel like somebody's gonna reach out to you. Um, I also got the King of Pentacles, so I feel like it, it might be, you know, it might be, we got some Taurus energy here. But somebody's gonna reach out to you. And I feel like they wanna make you an offer. And I feel like it is a new love. Um, you know, I feel like there's gonna be some chemistry right away there. And I feel like they're gonna help you make a pretty clear choice that you wanna move forward. You know, I feel like, I feel like you're going to want to move forward pretty quickly with this person. But you need to change your perspective and realize that you have the other options and that you don't have to be stuck in this situation with this person that doesn't really have any, you know, future plans with you. Um, as soon as you realize that, like as soon as you come to start listening to your intuition and realize that there is, you know, there is more out there for you. And I feel like the universe is going to be pretty quick on acting here. Like I said... Somebody's gonna reach out to you. Um, I see some contact. And like I said, it could be you could be dealing with a Taurus. 
um, I see this person as somebody that's very stable, somebody that's very down to earth, somebody very grounded, um, somebody that does want, you know, to move forward and actually have somebody in their life that they can be with, you know, on a regular basis. That first phone call of the day, the last phone call of the day, the person, you know, this person wants a person that when they have something good to talk about, they want to come to you. Um, something bad happens, they want to come to you. And they want that the same from you. They, like, I feel like they have, you're going to have that chemistry right away. Um, like I said, they're going to reach out. I feel like, you know, I see a lot of conversations, a lot of, you know, good chats, like just a lot of chemistry there, a lot of uh, similarities. And they're going to, you know, they're going to make it easy for you to move on from this, this current person or the person that you've been dealing with. This other person might be kind of an off, on and off thing. Like I said, I see it very, as very casual, this past person or, you know, the person that you're dealing with. Um, but this new person, you know, they want to build a foundation. They're not looking at something. They're not looking for something casual. They're not looking for something that, um, they want something with meaning. And, you know, I feel like you guys are going to be very happy together. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of stability in your future with this person. There's a lot of, um, you know, I'm getting a lot of, you know, strong feelings. Um, with the Ace of Cups, there's a lot of new love here. Um, and I also got the, the King of Wands. So it could be, they could have some Taurus in them, you know, there could be some, some Leo in them. Um, but like I said, it's a matter of changing your perspective here and realizing, you know, I think you already know that this, this person that you've been patient with and, you know, I, you know, that you're, you're really conflicted about, I feel like once you realize you have other options, this person, it'll be easy to get rid of this person, you know, just to cut them off because this isn't what you want. You don't want to be, you know, a casual relationship anymore. And this person doesn't have anything to give. Like I said, and once you change your perspective on that, you know, I feel, like I said, I feel like you're going to have a new offer. Somebody's going to reach out to you. Somebody's already, you know, some, I feel like this person already knows who you are. Um, you, you, you will know who they are. Uh, I don't feel like you know them very well. It might have been just somebody that's seen you around. Um, but I feel like they're going to make, you know, take a lot of effort to reach out to you here. And I feel like that, you know, it's a new love offer for sure here. Um, you know, and that's going to help you realize it is time to move on. And I feel like you feel like you could move on with this person because you do have similar interests. Like I said, I feel like you're going to feel the, the chemistry right away. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Leo. Um, I mean, that's just some of the energy I'm getting here. Uh, and I got some more fire as well. Um, but this person's serious. They're very stable. They're very on top of their game. Um, they're even, like, you know, with, with the King of Wands, I'm getting that maybe they even have, like, you know, they're interested in starting a family, possibly. And this one could be part of the Four of Wands as well. I feel like this person would be, good, you know, a good match. Um... Like I said, you have a lot of similarities. I feel like you want the same thing goal-wise and you want the same thing future-wise. And I feel like with this person, this could bring a lot of happiness in your future, a lot of sta stability. And, you know, a, this person, like I said, they just want somebody to share their life with. And I feel like that's what you're looking for. And so my advice here is, is to... You know, just realize, listen to your intuition and realize that you, you know, you are better than, you know, I feel like maybe you have issues with the fact that you don't know if you have other options, but I feel like if you listen to your intuition, you'll start realizing that you're worth, you know, their time. You're worth somebody to give you the time. And if that person doesn't see that, then you don't have time for them. And, you know, you, when you want something, and you don't feel like you're getting it. Like I, like, like I said, I feel like you, you lost patience with that person. You know, it's an internal struggle because you want to move on because you don't think this is right for you because there's no forward movement. I feel like it could be somebody that you work with, go to school with, or just in your friend's circle. 
But like I said, once you change your perspective on this, you'll realize that you, you have other options. You know, and that being unhappy shouldn't be one of your options. And I feel like with this person, this, this person that you're you're dealing with, that's what you know. It's you trying to make them happy. That's what I see here. You're trying to make them happy. You're trying to do too much. You're you're putting in all the work. Like I said, you're working hard at trying to make them happy. But this person coming that's going to reach out to you wants to make you happy. They want the same thing as you. So my advice is just allow that past person to go. Um, listen to your intuition. Be prepared because this person is is in is in you know this is in motion. This person is going to reach out to you, and I see it happening very soon with a love offer. And you're going to want to move forward with this person. And you guys, you know, you guys want the similar things here. And like I said, they're very grounded. They're very in touch with themselves. Um, they know what they want. And I feel like you guys can be very happy together if you just give this a chance. So follow your intuition. Uh, keep an eye out for this person. I feel like you're gonna know who they are right away. Like I said, I feel like there's a lot of chemistry here. I feel that you know. I feel like a lot of um, you guys have a lot of similarities. You'll feel uh, a lot of compatibility with this person, and it's only gonna grow. So that's what I have for you. Thanks for watching.